I have told that from where you can get a right question or stack exchange. Again, I will say that go and make account and increase your points there so that you your chance of getting job in that platform might be very easy. You will like uh, AWS, Amazon. Uh, what is full form AWS? Amazon Web Service and uh, Google is not advertising, but AWS is advertising and many other companies. Google is very advanced company. Everyone knows that. Uh, we should be practical about that. So conditioning, I had discussed. So again, same thing. Conditioning is all about that. Uh, you are having an event. Okay, then you if you try to compute probability of event, then you do what? Uh, you have to know about the complete sample of space. Then you will talk about what is the probability of occurrence in that complete with respect to that uh, sample of space. So you you should know all possible outcome. So it is a very tedious task. Okay, so what to, uh, so uh, and that happens to be what? Uh, you are computing that that is the first approach what through which we are computing probability of a that is the first approach now we try to make it more advanced uh, little bit a smart move what we do we come up with uh, a partial information about the random experiment like uh, something is there then your senior senior is saying that uh, something giving not complete information giving some information about that thing or another uh, your parent and uh, someone is providing some information not complete information like if you are if you are saying that probability course then complete information you will get from the probability professor not from your senior not from others okay they will just provide you partial information based on partial information what you will do you will enhance your likelihood if your partial information is in right way but the senior who is giving information about probability and that a student was not good in probability. So definitely his partial information, what he is providing to you regarding probability would be not useful. So the likelihood of understanding probability would be in negative way. It will hamper your effect, hamper your understanding of probability. But that a student, suppose your senior is very good in probability, then definitely that uh, a senior will give you uh, very helpful kind of partial information okay uh, only complete information you will get it from the book or probability professor that kind of thing so i am not talking about uh, once when you will get complete information when you are rigorously attending the lectures of probability professor okay Re you are not missing you are following all the instruction everything then uh, you will get a complete understanding of the probability but it is not happening in practical Okay, so you are not following completely. So in that segment, you are following partially. Okay, you are following partially. That's why this B is the partial information. Then you will talk about conditional probability of A. Suppose A is event of understanding probability. So you talk about this conditioning scenario. Okay, did you get meaning of this? So it might be clear to everyone. So this concept will come everywhere and how it is defined as it is saying that uh, how much of A is happening within B normalized by probability of B, happening of B. So we define it how much A is happening B, probability of happening A in B, that means A intersection B. Probability of happening A in B, that means A intersection B and it is normalized by probability of happening B, okay. So this one was module 1. Now same concept how we can translate it to module 2 in term of random variables. So suppose you are taking a discrete random variable. In discrete random variable what concept is coming? We write in here x is a discrete random variable and y is a discrete random variable, discrete random variable concept. And we are coming with uh, representation of the event in term of random variable. So we represent the event x, event a by observation of a random variable x. 
वी से इट एक्स इज ऑब्जर्विंग ए वेल्यू स्मॉल एक्स एंड रिगार्डिंग इवेंट बी वी से वी ऑब्जर्व इट इज इक्वेलेंट टू दैट सेकेंड रैंडम वेरिएबल वाई इज ऑब्जर्विंग ए वेल्यू स्मॉल वाई इन द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट रिमेंबर दैट बोथ आर हैपनिंग इन द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट देन दिस विल टर्न इन टू वट द कंडीशनल प्रॉपर्टी दिस विल टर्न इन टू हाउ इट विल टर्न इन टू सो कैपिटल पी विल राइट इट हियर एंड ए विल रिप्लेस इट बाई एक्स इज ऑब्जर्विंग वेल्यू स्मॉल एक्स y is observing condition on y is b is replaced by y is observing value a small y okay and in the right hand side what we will write capital p that x is observing value a small x and here it is talking about joint Uh, occurrence of a and b that means joint point both point are coming together okay so here intersection will be replaced by comma that is the joint jointness and y is observing value small y and in the denominator what you will observe oh, it would be probability that y is observing value a small y okay what is name of this one what we will call it if you are talking about all possible observation of x for a given y we in term of probability mass function because x and y are discrete and numerable we will denote it by small x given a small y a small p so this notation we call it probability mass function notation and in order to relate with corresponding random variable we put that conditioning thing in the in suffix x given y it is not necessary you can leave it there is no hard bound only for the sake of simplicity you have to put it so that you are saying that we are finding conditional probability mass function of x and condition on observation of y so just it is just for your sake of understanding not more than that you can leave it there is no any issue and in the right hand side what we will observe the numerator it becomes a small p of A small x and a small y. That we call it joint probability mass function. Okay, joint probability. And here in suffix the joint uh, action of x and y, we will write it x comma y. Right? Okay. You can leave it. There is no any issue. But you should put in order to relate the jointness of x and y. Okay. and in the denominator likewise you will put it here probability value of probability mass function of y at y okay so all these are coming so these these relation you can see that these two are coming in term of probability mass function so this we call it definition of conditional probability mass function conditional probability mass function so it is not like that it is different from conditional probability what we have discussed in module 1 it is same just we have given uh, a form in the term of random variable so that's why it is taking different form the random variable is always what it is number and what kind of number random numbers and in case of module 1 we we, we that time we will uh, have only event kind of things 
events happens to be set kind of things, set subset kind of things. So, in module 1 we had only events, but in module 2 we are having numbers, a random numbers kind of things. So, that is the thing. Okay. Any question anyone is having here in uh, uh, this uh, uh, regarding the conditional property mass function? And likewise also you can define conditional density, probability density that P you have to replace it by F and then conditional probability density you will get it. So, actually I have not covered that segment, it is just coming generalization of this concept. So, you can easily come up with that. How that you will come? You will come from the definition of uh, probability density function. So, that how you are writing probability in term of probability density function. It is probability uh, if you are observing an interval x to x plus delta it is approximated by uh, that value of density at x time width of the interval dx or delta through that if you replace a b by those things you will get the same in term of uh, probability density function. So, so conditional probability mass function of a random variable x condition on another random variable y uh, we had defined it like this way and it is having a lot of application. The first application we call it uh, this uh, computation of joint probability mass function and also you can call it a multiplication rule. We call it multiplication rule. So, this multiplication rule is very important. It is same similar to multiplication rule in module 1. Multiplication rule in module 1, same thing. Okay. So, multiplication rule again I have written it here like this way in detail and you can generalize multiplication rule for n number of random variables. So, if you are finding joint probability mass function of n number of random variable, then it is just sequential pattern of observing the random variable. First you are observing x1, then you are observing x2, then uh, x2 given x1. Always remember that conditionally you are observing x2, then conditionally you are observing x3 and likewise. So, it is sequential approach, sequence is coming there. A sequence is always, uh, what is the fundamental property of sequence? Order. Order you cannot change. If you change the order, you will get different thing. Different thing. Order is not, uh, order is fixed for a sequence. Okay. So, again same question, it is coming Professor May. This kind of question will come uh, there and uh, I have already discussed in this question, uh, if you are observing two kind of random numbers are coming, two kind of random variable are coming. One random variable that Professor May is, uh, a question has been asked to Professor May, either zero question or one question or two question with probability 1 by 3. That means uniform, uniform. Uh, probability mass function. Well, now, next Professor May is answering the question, uh, what is the probability of being a wrong answer? 1 by 4, 1 by 4, okay. So, there is a second random variable associated with a uh, wrong answer. So, either it would be 0 wrong answer, 1 wrong answer or 2 wrong answer. And if simply if I am asking to compute the probability mass function of y, it would be very difficult, very, very difficult, simply I would like to say that. So, what would be your approach here? First find joint probability mass function of x and y and after that apply marginalization. Marginalization, that means law of total probability. Name, name of marginalization is first module is law of total probability. In the second module in term of random variable, we call it marginalization. It is same, law of total probability or marginalization. Okay. So, the calculation you had already seen that. So, x we are calling in number of question Professor May is asked and y is talking about number of questions she answer wrong in a given lecture. Okay. So, we have to first find the joint probability mass function of x and y and later we have to find the probability mass function of y. The only computation, computational approach is of computing probability mass function of y you have to go through joint probability mass function otherwise it would be very difficult. So, here uh, we are computing probability mass function, joint probability mass function of y, x and y by, uh, via multiplication rule. That means here first uh, which one is easy to understand here, easy to describe here, x is easy to describe. Why? The probability mass function of x is given, that one is 1 by 3. So, that is why first we are observing x, then after we are observing y condition on x, condition on x. Or you can say that prior scenario of x, or given scenario of x, we are observing y. So, this is the way to compute probability mass function of y. So, I have already again uh, 
uh, okay let us play here what is the protein mass function of at joint point 0 0 that means x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 would you like to help me what would be protein mass function of 0 0 what is meaning of 0 x equal to 0 means professor may has been asked 0 question so p of 0 with respect to x and once professor may has been asked with 0 question then we have to compute protein what is the uh, probability that professor uh, may will give a 0 wrong answer what is the probability anyone again I am asking I had answer so the first component is having very easy it is value of p of 0 with respect to x is 1 by 3 now tell me what is the p of uh, uh, 0 given 0 what is the value of this one 0 uh, 1 uh, yeah your answer is uh, what uh, another had told 3 by 4 3 by 4 if professor may has been asked 0 question then professor may will utter anything utter, they, utter anything no so if he is not uttering anything what does it mean whether we will say that he is giving a wrong answer whether we will say that whether he is a professor professor may is a pro, he, she is a professor why professor will give a wrong answer definitely that perception will come there now so probability of 0 given 0 would be 1 it would be 1 probability of 0 given 0 it would be certain thing that we are very sure that he is a he or she is a professor why professor uh, will give a wrong answer everything if he is saying nothing that means he is always right with probability 1 certain thing it is a certain simply it is a certain thing there is no randomness when professor is not uttering anything there is no randomness if something is not random in nature what is the probability of that quantity 1 that is a certain quantity probability is 1 so explanation is coming from there it is not like that it is just probability you will compute it from the numeric thing that probability of giving wrong answer is 1 by 4 so we will subtract it he is not giving wrong answer and so it would be 3 by 4 so that is not did you get meaning of this or not did you who had answer 3 by 4 so did did you get meaning of that how it is 1 not that uh, professor uh, when professor may has not been asked any question then he in that case he is not going to give any answer no so he is a uh, certain thing there is no randomness there is no randomness is coming if a quantity there is no randomness then what point what we call that quantity there is no uncertainty that means there is a certainty certain what is the probability of certain certainty what is the probability of certainty one so that is why one is coming here if there is no randomness then probability of uh, happening is one with probability one it will happen did you get meaning of this again not not get did you get why pro one is coming here ok fine so you got it 1 by 3 probability of 0 0 joint point what is the probability of uh, 0 1 who will answer what is the probability of 0 1 why the first component would be 1 by 3 I am not writing p of 0 and p of uh, 1 given 0 what is the second probability probability of uh, 1 given 0 would be what it is 0 if 0 question professor may has been asked why he will give wrong answer so it is 0 probability of uh, so definitely he will not answer anything that means it is 0 
लाइकवाइज वाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ज्वाइंट पॉइंट जीरो 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 टू अगेन जीरो सो आई थिंक यू ऑल मे बी एबल टू कंप्यूट ऑल द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑल द हाउ मेनी पॉइंट ज्वाइंट पॉइंट वुड बी देयर हाउ मेनी ज्वाइंट पॉइंट वुड बी देयर एक्स इज टेकिंग थ्री वेल्यू एंड वाई इज टेकिंग थ्री वेल्यू देन थ्री क्रॉस थ्री नाइन पॉइंट ज्वाइंट पॉइंट वुड बी देयर सो थ्री यू हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्यूटेड नेक्स्ट थ्री विल कम विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वन कोमा जीरो वन कोमा वन वन कोमा टू एंड देन नेक्स्ट वुड बी टू कोमा जीरो टू कोमा वन टू कोमा टू सो यू कैन कंप्यूट इट लाइक सो फॉलो ए प्रोपर सिक्वेंस प्रोपर पैटर्न सो दिस इज दस थिंग्स दैट यू विल सी इट यू कैन सी दिस दिस इज द नाइन प्रोबेबिलिटी वॉट यू आर गेटिंग इट you can compute it so computation you are computing the joint probability mass function and later uh, now i am asking to compute uh, that question is not given here uh, find the probability mass function of y how you will compute it probability mass function of y see the observation of y y is taking value along vertical axis so that means y varies vertically y varies vertically that means do perform row sum the distribution of y will also it also should vary vertically distribution of y should vary vertically so when variation of joint probability vertically you will observe when you perform a row sum so row sum perform here so it is 0 plus 0 plus 1 by 14 so it is talking about probability of observing y equal to 2 Like zero uh, plus four by forty-eight plus six by forty-eight. That means ten by forty-eight. That one is probability of observing y equal to one. Now sixteen plus twelve. Twenty-eight plus nine. Thirty-seven. Okay. So this is the probability of observing y equal to zero. So that's where this the this column you will call it uh, probability mass function of y column. If you perform uh, column sum, you will get probability mass function of x. But why you will go for that? Probability mass function of x is already given here. It is one by three, so you don't have to go. Otherwise, you can verify. Just for verification purpose, you can go for that. So I think it would be clear to everyone how to compute joint probability mass function, and from there how you can apply marginalization. That we call it law of total probability marginalization. Okay. Again, I will discuss here. Marginalization. That means you are marginalizing for x. That means. You are exhausting y in joint probability mass function of x and y. You are uh, you are summing joint probability mass function along the line. So if you observe a function of two variable, then this is the domain. Call it x. This is the domain. So this is the domain. Call it here. Random variable always be denoted by because it is a variable. But random in fashion, so that's why we will denote it by capital letter. Now, if I am I am saying that what does it mean? If you are saying x is observing value as a small x, what is meaning of that? It will talk a line parallel to vertical line. X equal to x is observing value a small x. Then it is talking a line. Why? Because here y is free to take any value. When you just you are fixing x equal to a small x, then y is free to take any value. So just you have fixed x equal to one, so some something like that. But y is free now. Jointly you are having two variable. So just you are fixing x. You are not putting any condition on y. So that's why if you are writing in case of joint random variable x and y, if you just put x equal to, in a plane, if someone is saying that. Uh, Uh, walk uh, 
at the point x equal to 1 what you will do x equal to 1 you are not free to move along the horizontal axis horizontal x axis x equal to 1 but no condition you have been uh, given regarding y so x equal to 1 that means you will uh, walk along the y axis at x equal to 1 so if you are walking in that process that means you are walking along a line you are getting a line so i think x equal to a small x it would be clear to everyone okay likewise someone is saying that uh, uh, fix y equal to a small y y is observing a value small y that means there that time x is free that means y equal to a small y it is a line parallel to x axis or a horizontal axis and the intersecting po point of x equal to a small x and y equal to a small x we call it joint point and what is name of this one it is joint point we denote it by x is observing value a small x comma the joint occurrence comma y is observing value a small y joint point okay joint point okay so here if you are willing to compute probability mass function of x through uh, marginalization uh, total probability what you do you have taken x and you are talking about uh, all those points which are in the line of x and some the so it is not complete uh, joint probability p of x y it is not talking about complete joint probability why we have taken only one x here and we are talking about variation of y along that x along that line okay so we are summing the joint point along the line probability of joint point along the line and then we are getting probability mass function of x that that is the marginalization again geometrically i am trying to visualize it and likewise also you can compute uh, joint probability mass function of y okay so third application is this one is very much important uh, every time i have already told that so here what is situation here you are willing to find uh, uh, that means uh, call let us discuss this okay uh, you are having two random variable x and y and uh, somehow you come up with uh, a prior distribution of pro prior probability mass function of x but you are not sure that prior distribution is given by your senior same in same way it is given by your senior based on that you develop a likelihood of observing uh, x, uh, in, uh, y okay uh, this one is given by your senior prior distribution or some uh, some experienced person have provided you this prior distribution of x and uh, based on this prior distribution you are finding the uh, likelihood of observing y okay just one y you have observed and uh, with the help of that you try to update the distribution of x you are having a random variable x and no question is given to you uh, there is no you don't know the pro, uh, true probability mass function of x you don't know true, true probability mass function you have, you have been asked a question that what is the probability mass function of x and you don't know that it is not given then you simply you can't say that in that scenario uh, no probability mass function of x is not uh, it is not given there so i will not solve this problem you can't say that that freedom is not there so what you have to do you have to uh, like uh, uh, you have to come up with the prior distribution by asking from your senior or someone someone or uh, with your experience you can come up with the prior distribution of x okay based on that prior distribution you have to observe another random variable y that we call it likelihood of observation of y okay and if you multiply uh, this these two probability you are getting probability of joint point along y equal to a small y okay joint point and uh, uh, simply joint probability mass function you can call it and uh, normalize it by this one so all these derivation i i should not discuss it is coming from here uh, from the real statement of definition of conditional probability mass function 
conditional probability mass function. It is coming from there itself. I am just explaining this. So, this one is a prior post probability uh, multiplied with likelihood divided by evidence. It is giving back to posterior probability. It is updating the uh, updating the probability mass function of x. So, update process. Now, one question I am asking one uh, in one lecture I had uh, seen that suppose one question is given here, one scenario is given, uh, a person is running. Okay. A person is running, then I will ask what is the why? Running. This statement is given. Next, I am asking why why he is running or she is running, why? Then I am giving you option, just play a quiz game. Option 1 is saying he is a sport person. person okay so option C is saying he is in hurry Definitely this example I have taken it from one lecture from uh, National Research University uh, Moscow, Russia. They are also very good. I don't know why they have disconnected uh, their courses. Uh, he always runs. It is in YouTube, you can find. He always runs. And fourth condition is he has seen dragon. He has seen dragon. Seen a dragon. Tell me, what is the best possible answer? Tell me, what is the best possible answer? Second. Why? What? Unable to? Yeah. So, why uh, other three options are wrong? So, we have to justify it. Question is, first question was? Uh, what is the right answer? And second question is why other three are wrong? Okay, I am making questions. So, so it is very good example of Bayes rule. Okay. Uh, here if you say that if you are having prior knowledge, if you use a principle, first principle call it P1. If you are having a prior knowledge, uh, based on prior knowledge I will call it PK. 
बेस्ड ऑन प्रायर नॉलेज यू नो दैट ड्रैगन डजेंट एग्जिस्ट ड्रैगन डजेंट एग्जिस्ट सो प्रायर नॉलेज यू विल से दैट दिस ऑप्शन इज कैंसल सेकेंड यू विल टॉक अबाउट इट इज इन यूट्यूब यू विल फाइंड इट सेकेंड प्रिंसिपल यू विल ऑब्जर्व द पर्सन ऑब्जर्व द पर्सन एंड सपोज दैट पर्सन इज नॉट वेरिंग अ स्पोर्ट शू वॉट यू विल सी टॉक अबाउट सेकेंड प्रिंसिपल ऑब्जर्व द पर्सन ओके ऑब्जर्व द पर्सन एंड यू सी नो शू इज देर नो स्पोर्ट शू वट डज इट मीन ही इज नॉट ए स्पोर्ट पर्सन नो शू थर्ड यू ऑब्जर्व थर्ड प्रिंसिपल ना रेमेनिंग थिंग आर जस्ट टू ऑप्शन सो इन थर्ड प्रिंसिपल वॉट यू सी दैट ही ऑलवेज रन वॉट डज इट लुक लाइक मेनी एजुमसन्स ही ऑलवेज रन वॉट दैट मीन्स ही माइट बी इन हरी ही माइट बी इन स्पोर्ट और ही माइट बी इन सो वेरियस पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देर बट इन प्रोबेबिलिटी वॉट कंसेप्ट यू नो वॉट इज द कॉलमोग्र कंसेप्ट हैव इंट्रोड्यूस यू शुड नो ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स इन ऑर्डर टू मॉडल ए रेंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड दोज आर फिजिबल थिंग पॉसिबल पॉसिबल थिंग्स आर देर ओके सो यू शुड नॉट गो फॉर टू मेनी एजुमसन्स हियर इन यू शुड नॉट गो फॉर प्रिंसिपल थ्री टू मैनी एजुमसन यू शुड नॉट गो फॉर दैट ओके सो दैट्स वे दिस ही ऑलवेज रन इट इज कंटेनिंग टू मैनी एजुमसन वॉट इज रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग थिंग ही इज इन हरी सो दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन सो हा दिस फ्रेमवर्क इज वॉट वॉट वी कॉल दिस फ्रेमवर्क वी कॉल इट बेसियन फ्रेमवर्क वी आर टेकिंग प्रायर नॉलेज एंड देन लाइकलीहुड सीनारियो अदर सीनारियो another based on the prior we are trying to go for further likelihood so this perspective we call it bayesian perspective you can apply you can if someone is going for kbc uh, game then you can go for that there would be four options so you can it is another way to solve so here through this uh, if you are having very good awareness regarding the problem then you will be able to definitely solve it is not like that always you have to start to solve it manually so you will, okay see the options and observe things around the problem and from that try to answer it any question here i think it would be clear to everyone how it is coming like that i won't discuss much uh, actually uh, any so same thing all i have discussed here uh, px is the prior distribution and that uh, pro, this uh, second one is Uh, likelihood this one is probability of y given x we call it likelihood of observing y from the prior scenario of x and it is probability of y that we are computing from marginalization or total probability so this is the bayru uh, evidence we call it evidence so uh, here this problem is also very interesting problem in order to compute posterior distribution like uh, suppose it is all are from csc so everyone might be uh, aware of a string or uh, if you are not aware you have to be aware of that binary string like you will talk about uh, uh, communication of information you have to pass information so in machine uh, it is dealing with just binary number 0 and 1 whatever in machine if you talk about so there would be a binary string so suppose x is the number of ones that appears in a binary string of length l and l is also random in nature it is not deterministic not fixed okay and each bit in the A string it would be either zero or one with probability one by two, zero with probability one by two and one with probability one by one by two, and bits are independent to each other, independent kind of things. So there are l number of there are l number capital l number of Bernoulli trials, Bernoulli trial, and l is itself variable, l is itself variable, very difficult thing. So you have to go for given If take a value of l that a small l and we know that x if you are fixing l a value of l fixing a length of the binary string then you are getting a distribution of x given l remember that given l distribution of x is binomial 
so it is a conditional conditional kind of things so a given l uh, x is distributed binomially and what is coming here so so it is not a complete here given l it is we are talking about given l so uh, the, the k will take value from 0 to l and we are getting it is taking a binomial picture so given l when you are saying given l what does it mean it is a function of l this one is function of so this function we call it likelihood likelihood function likelihood of observing x from the scenario given scenario of uh, l and what is the best likely uh, best uh, given scenario of l uniform distribution of l if no distribution of l it is given here then uniform distribution of l we are taking uniform suppose l is uniformly distributed from 1 to 10 so this is the it is no information is given to us so you can proceed with uniform distribution so this is the given scenario of l based on that find then you are getting a evidence you are getting a evidence that x is observing, observing value 4 x is observing value 4 so based on this find the posterior property mass function of l given 4 you have to find l given 4 so you have to apply here base rule so it is application of base rule so this example we have already done okay should i discuss or you can see all this answer so here you can see that this is the likelihood of observe the last case when we have taken uh, x equal to k that time you can say that uh, uh, protein mass function of k given l that one was a probability mass function but when you are just fixing x equal to 4 it is not a probability mass function it is, it is a probability of observing 4 from the scenario of given scenario of l are you getting meaning of this so this one is likelihood function this we call it likelihood function and when we say that uh, p uh, k given l and l is taking value from 0 to l a small l then that time we say that this one is the probability mass function it is a probability mass function because k is taking value uh, from 0 to l there is a variation of that okay it is a probability mass function but if you talk about this quantity uh, probability of 4 given l it is not a probability mass function what is this one it is just a probability it is just a probability it is a likelihood of observing 4 x equal to 4 that means 4 ones in the binary string from the uh, given length a small l are you getting meaning of this or not that there is a difference between probability mass function and likelihood likelihood actually probability mass function also that one is likelihood likelihood of all possible value of x k all possible value of k or all possible value of x likelihood of all possible value of x but it is a likelihood of one value likelihood of one value so that's why it is just a probability what is this one this one is not a probability mass function it is just a probability and that question is very common in uh, uh, interview if you are appearing for uh, uh, some interview uh, for job purpose then you will be asked what is the difference between probability distribution and likelihood it is just a probability just a probability any question here everyone got the meaning of this one what is the difference between uh, uh, likelihood and probability distribution i am not saying that uh, uh, probability distribution will not come in the category of likelihood it will come but when you say the difference then uh, probability distribution uh, when it is related with uh, likelihood it is related with probability distribution that means you are talking about uh, likelihood of each possible value of the random variable corresponding random variable associated random variable but when you are saying that likelihood of a point it is just a probability it is just a probability just a probability it is not uh, talking about all possible probability so probability distribution is talking about all possible probability of uh, the given random numbers that random variable is observing okay so i think it might be clear so this one is just a likelihood and uh, this one is a uh, probability mass function and just uh, through this likelihood uh, uh, initial probability is given and we can compute a probability of observing four how you are observing by summing the joint probability along the line x equal to four we are summing okay that means we are exhausting l along the line x equal to 4 and through that we are getting this component okay and after that we apply Bayes rule in order to get updated or posterior probability of 
L given x equal to 4 and this is the value. I have told that uh, what are the, uh, okay, tell me further you can define it. If you are taking L equal to 1, what would be value of this? What would be value of this? If you are taking L equal to 1, this would be 0. 0 choose 4 is not possible. Then if you take 2, again 0. 3, 0. If you take 4, it would be not 0. So here L, it would be non 0 4, L equal to 4 onward up to 10. 4, 5 and you will go up to 10. Okay, so that I have. So this is the updated probability.